Impact Wrestling should really consider signing Killer Kelly, Renee Michelle, and the Sea Stars. Taya Valkyrie and Ethan Page are free agents at the end of this year. Swaggle wants to be taken seriously, but all this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Just real quick, I do have my own YouTube channel right now. It's called the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. We have really, really great content up there. Some great indie interviews. Some interviews with legends up there and other great content as well and i'm adding content regularly on that channel so check it out the alliance pro wrestling network look in the comments you'll see the link please hit that link and please 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 hit that subscribe button thank you very much okay let's move along here let's get started impact wrestling they should really really consider signing killer kelly renee michelle and the sea stars, Delmi Exo and Ashley Vox. One, I wasn't familiar with Killer Kelly. I'm going to admit that when I first saw the name Killer Kelly, but I watched a bunch of her matches, and Killer Kelly is a great talent, a potential star. And Renee Michelle has great potential as well. I watched a few of her matches, and Delmi Exo, Ashley Vox, good tag team there. Uh, they're sisters, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, they are uh, good tag team there. So Impact Wrestling should really, really consider signing before them. And, and here's why. And here's why. Okay. One, and I'm going to get into this a little uh, shortly. But Ty Valkyrie and Ethan Page are both uh, free agents. But let's not talk about Ethan Page. Let's talk about Ty Valkyrie. Ty Valkyrie is a free agent at the end of this year. Okay. We'll, we'll get into Ethan Page in a bit. Uh, but Taya Valkyrie is a free agent at the end of this year. There's no guarantee that she's staying with Impact Wrestling. I hope she does, but there's no guarantee that she's staying with Impact Wrestling. Kylie Ray, unfortunately going through some issues right now, has retired from professional wrestling. So they've basically lost Kylie Ray. So that, that was a big hit there, losing Kylie Ray. And if they lose Taya Valkyrie, that's another big hit as well. But, but, if you sign Killer Kelly and Renee Michelle, I think those are adequate replacements. I think Killer Kelly could come in and fill the void that Taya Valkyrie would leave. I think Renee Michelle could come in and be a pretty good baby face. Uh, I know Kylie Ray was a terrific baby face, but I think Renee Michelle could come in and be a, a pretty good baby face. I feel she could definitely fill that void that was left by, by Kylie Ray uh, when Kylie Ray um, has retired from professional wrestling. I, again, I hope uh, Kylie Ray gets through her, her issues, and I hope she does come back. But as of right now, she's not with Impact Wrestling, and they, and they need to fill that void. And I think Renee Michelle would do a, a, a splendid job in coming in and, and, filming, and filling that void. Uh, but they have to build her up, right? They have to build them up uh, properly. And now that we have this tag team tournament... Uh, and there's going to be tag team titles. There's going to be knockout tag team titles. Having a, a legitimate tag team, a team that's been together, uh, I believe, for a couple of years uh, in the Sea Stars, Delmi XO, Ashley Vox, it would be pretty good to have an established team, a legitimate team in the knockouts tag team division now that they're bringing in these uh, knockouts tag team titles in. And the Sea Stars, Delmi XO, Ashley Vox. They're they're perfect. They're perfect for that. They're perfect for that role. They're perfect. That's why the Impact Wrestling really should sit down and think about this and think about signing all four of them. They may have signed them already. Uh, I don't think they 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 did. I think there would have been a. I think they would have announced that they signed them. But they should really consider signing these four, uh, especially out of the four. I'm going to say my favorite right now is Killer Kelly. My favorite, I, I, like I said, I've been watching matches with Killer Kelly, and she is legit. She has legitimate talent, and she could really be one of the top stars uh, in Impact Wrestling. I could see her challenging Deanna Perrazzo for the Knockouts uh, title. I could see Killer Kelly holding the Knockouts title. So 
they should really, really think about this and think hard because, again, Tanya Valkyrie, no guarantee that she's staying. It's actually a pretty good chance that she's not staying uh, with Impact Wrestling. Again, I hope she does. I hope they work something out. I hope they keep Tanya Valkyrie. Uh, but that's why they, they need to get some insurance. They need to get in some new talent. And they, they have an opportunity right now. They have four potential stars right now that's going to be in this knockouts tag team tournament they they haven't promoted them at all but that's okay we'll we'll let that go i've already ranted about that but uh they should definitely definitely consider signing these four you know i don't want to keep saying that over and over again but um i i just want to i just want to ingrain it into everybody's head that, that that they should really consider um you know getting a contract uh, for these uh, four wrestlers and again i'm, I'm super impressed with killer kelly and uh, they all have potential and i really hope I really hope that uh, Impact Wrestling uh, does a thing here and and uh, they sign. Um, if, even if they don't sign all of them, at least sign Killer Kelly. At least bring Killer Kelly in. That's that thing out of the four. Like I said, out of the four, she's she's the most talented out of the four. So if they're gonna bring anyone, if they're just gonna bring one in, I hope it's Killer Kelly. I hope, I, but I think they should really consider bringing in all four uh, of these uh, of these. Um, talented individuals and uh huh, hopefully they will hopefully they will so as i mentioned tyre valkyrie is a um free agent at the end of this year and i hope she stays so is ethan page ethan page is also a free agent at the end of this year and he's one guy that they absolutely have to bring back they have to bring back ethan page they got to bring back tyre valkyrie as well and i hope they do uh but but they got to bring back Ethan Page. Again, there's no guarantee that either of them are coming back. But and what, and what has me nervous and what has me a little nervous is the way they treated the North and Good Brothers feud. Uh, they really didn't promote it. They really didn't push it as a top feud. And it was one match. Well, they had one match on TV, which was which was okay. There was interference at the end. But then they had the one title match, the North defending the titles against the Good Brothers. It was a really, really good match. But uh, the Good Brothers take the titles, and uh, like I said, there wasn't a real, there wasn't the promotion, sh the promotion machine wasn't working for, for this feud for some reason. They didn't really push this feud uh, the way they should have, which which leads me to believe that, and I hope I'm wrong, but I'm thinking maybe they didn't push it because Impact Wrestling knows that Ethan Page is not coming back, and they realize um, they they determined that why uh, why push the feud. If, if Ethan Page is not coming back. And this is just me thinking. I have no proof. I didn't read this anywhere. This is just um, in the head of Lewis Carlin right now. Uh, and I, I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, I, I really hope uh, Ethan Page, I want the North to stay together. If anything, Ethan Page will probably go to AEW. But I'm thinking, what could he do in AEW? Uh, they got to throw him in a, a feud with Cody Rhodes? Uh, that would be a good match, actually. But I, I don't know what he, they would do. What he would do in AEW, and what 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 worries me a little bit is Josh Alexander, whose whose contract is not coming up. I think he's got another year on his contract. I would be afraid that Josh Alexander would just would follow Ethan Page to AEW uh, if uh, if that does happen. And I uh, that's the rumor that AEW is interested. So I'm I'm hoping that they work out a deal with Ethan Page, and uh, but. Even if they don't, if they don't um, sign Ethan Page and he does walk, this is a huge opportunity for Impact Wrestling and Josh Alexander, because Josh Alexander is an incredibly talented professional wrestler, and he is he can run he can run with the Impact Wrestling World Title. He's a, he could be a legitimate Impact Wrestling World Champion. He's a terrific singles wrestler. I've seen a number of matches. Uh, Josh Alexander up here in Ontario and uh, he, I don't need to explain to anybody that we all know how how talented Josh Alexander is he's had some absolutely fantastic matches and this could be a, a, a golden opportunity for Josh Alexander and a golden opportunity for Impact Wrestling because they would have a top singles guy that they could push but they would have to push him, right? They can't kind of make him into a joke or or throw him with another partner. They can't like break up the Deaners or something and and have Josh Alexander team with with Cody Deaner, you know? Because even Josh Alexander, I had him on the show, and he he really doesn't want to team with anybody else. Ethan Page is his partner, and they're a terrific tag team. 
Yeah, I don't need to explain that to anybody, but they were a fantastic tag team, one of the best in the world. Actually, you know, I want to point out the Pro Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Um, they they rated the top, I think top five hundred. Uh, I could be wrong, maybe top one hundred, but they they did a top tag team uh, listing like they do with the top uh, five hundred wrestlers, and the North were number five. North were number five in the world, and that's that's in. That's that's terrific. So congratulations, to the North. They're actually on the cover of Pro Wrestling Illustrated, and terrific team. So it would really suck. I mean, really, really, really suck if Ethan Page doesn't resign with Impact Wrestling. So hopefully they can work something out. But but if he doesn't sign again, one as one door will close on the North, another one will open in Impact Wrestling for Josh Alexander. And uh, like I said, I would I would eventually put the world title on Josh Alexander because he can definitely run with it. He would be he's a great great talent to be leading your leading your um, promotion. He definitely could be the face of Impact Wrestling for a bit. And uh, I would I would. Um, I would really consider, if I was Scott Demore and Don Callis, I would really consider putting the title on Josh Alexander should Ethan Page leave. Now, even if Ethan, even if Ethan Page doesn't leave, they re- remain the North. I would still, I would still push both of them as singles wrestlers because they both are very capable of running with the Impact Wrestling World Title. So. Um, Again, I hope Ethan Page stays, and I hope Ty Valkyrie stays, but then nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed, but I guess we could just all, – all we could do as fans are, are wait it out and uh, see what happens at the end of the year. Uh, but I'll keep my fingers crossed that uh, they both do, in fact, return to Impact Wrestling. Okay, so Swaggle. Let's talk about Swaggle. Because uh, Swaggle, I was reading online, where Swaggle said that he wants to be taken seriously uh, in Impact Wrestling. He wants to be taken seriously. Okay, great. Nothing wrong with that. You want to be taken seriously. Uh, when he was wrestling Brian Myers, uh, he mentioned to Brian Myers that this during the match, this is my home. I belong here. I belong in this Impact Wrestling ring. Fantastic. Fantastic. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. He wants to be taken seriously. And um, Impact Wrestling is his home. So Impact Wrestling is his home, and he wants to be taken seriously. And then he shows up on AEW in a diaper crying like a baby. So, so much for I want to be taken seriously. Okay, So much for I want to be taken seriously. So, so you know, again, you know, I'm sure he got paid money to do that, which is fine. He's, he's got to make a living. But, but what's the whole the whole routine that I want to be taken seriously now, and I prove that I belong in. in well, he said that as well. I prove I belong um, after the match with Brian Myers. I prove I belong here in Impact Wrestling. This is my home, right? Great. But, but then he shows up at AEW in a diaper, crying like a baby. And uh, they, it was a whole the the whole inner circle thing. It was a whole um, hangover on um, par- parody of the Hangover, uh, the Hangover movie. Uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah, Swaggle just sitting there <laughs> in a diaper, crying like a baby, like crying like a baby. So how could you take that seriously, right? How could you take that seriously? You know, he's a, he's a he's a comedy act. He's a comedy act. And and again, not saying anything bad about Swaggle, not putting Swaggle down at all. Just have my opinion, and I'm just stating it here on uh, Shooting Up North. Uh, so, um, so much for for Swaggle to be taken seriously. Uh, so, and and speaking of which, speaking of which, um, Ethan Page comes out. Uh, we're going back to Ethan Page. Ethan Page comes out on the last on the last episode of Impact, and, and says that he wants a wants a title shot. D- didn't come out. With Josh Alexander, unless I completely miss it, Ethan Page came came out by, by himself, and uh, the Good Brother said, uh, "We'll give you a shot, but you have to defeat uh, somebody next week. You have to defeat an, a phenomenal opponent." So they were kind of um, teasing AJ Styles, but we all know it's not AJ Styles. We all know it's not going to be AJ Styles, and and why they are even teasing AJ Styles is quite silly, in my opinion. And here's what I think, and I see this a lot on on social media, and and my friend Pat actually s- suggested this as well. Swaggle's going to come out, dress as AJ Styles, and he's going to be the phenomenal Swaggle or something. So that's what they're probably going to do. It's going to be a comedy thing, uh, and it's going to be – just thinking about it is, is just ridiculous if that's where they go. But I really can't think what else they would do. 
<laughs> right? So my, I'm guessing, you know, I'm going along with everybody on social media and my friend Pat, that it's that the phenomenal one is going to be Swaggle dressed as AJ Styles. And I think he's going to defeat Ethan Page. I think he's going to defeat Ethan Page. So um, let's let's uh, let's get ready for that. I'm just <laughs> giving everybody fair warning. <laughs> I'm giving everybody fair warning that the phenomenal one is very good chance it's going to be Swaggle dressed as AJ Styles. And uh, all the, you know what all that's going to do. All that's going to do is going to give material for Impact Wrestling trolls who are sitting in their basement, munching on their fish stick sandwiches, really with not much to do. And then they're going to look at the Impact Wrestling top five moments of the week, and they're going to see number three is is Swaggle coming out as the phenomenal Swaggle and taking on Ethan Page, and then they're going to start typing, this is why I don't watch Impact anymore. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. You know, they're really making AJ Styles look bad. And uh, in between bites of their fish stick sandwich, they'll be they'll be typing uh, that crap up. Uh, but hey, it's... Uh, it's <laughs> I just, I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about Josh Matthews going, who is this? That's Swaggle. That's Swaggle coming out. Oh, that's Swaggle. And then when Swaggle's Swaggle's in the ring with Ethan Page and Ethan Page grabs him, he goes, oh, come on, Ethan Page. Well, what is this going to prove? What is this going to prove, Ethan Page? Despite the fact that the good brother set this up, Josh Matthews, what is this going to prove? My God, oh. Swaggle coming out as 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 the phenomenal one. This is a surprise. <laughs> oh gosh, I can see it happening. I can see it happening, man. Oh man. Anyway, that that <laughs> that that's it for me. I'm gonna leave it at that. I want to thank everybody for listening today. Uh, I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.